Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another SketchUp cooking class. In this session here, we are going to bring an AutoCAD file into SketchUp. Uh, if you need to prepare the drawing, so if you look at the previous uh, tutorial, you'll see how to bring auto, to clean up an AutoCAD drawing first. So what we want to do is, after we've cleaned up our AutoCAD drawing, we can go into File and Import. And we go down to the bottom of the screen and we can click on to AutoCAD files. And then uh, the drawing that we cleaned up in the other session was called Savoie G Floor Ground Floor. So I just select that file and open it. And it's coming in and it's saying it's on two layers. We've got nine arcs, a whole bunch of lines, polylines. And so I just close this and now we have This is our file. Now, the problem that we have with uh, AutoCAD and SketchUp is that when two lines cross in SketchUp, SketchUp wants to create a surface. So it divides all these lines in half. And that does create a bit of a problem for us. So uh, a couple of things I'd like to do here. One thing is just going to go into my styles. Windows, Styles, it's on my other screen, I'll just pull it over, and we need to look at making this a, basically a uh, default style, and what that does is um, it helps clean up the edges a little bit, sometimes we get little knobby things on the edge, another thing we can do is look at view and edge style and just make sure that just edge is on trying to get rid of all these profiles or all these little extensions and stuff like this we just want this to be to edge and then we should be okay so um, we'll find that if we try to uh, what we're trying to do here let's see, uh, undo okay another little things come up here if I select this um, when you bring it in it may come in as a group or it may not. If it doesn't come in as a group, that's fine. If it is a group, then what I'd like to do here is uh, to explode it. Now, sometimes your AutoCAD files are not very good. So basically, you have to leave them as a group, and then you have to trace each line. So whatever works, you'll know once you're working with it. If it's a problem, just group the whole thing. And we will do that with the stair. We will group the stair to work with that. So to start with now, if I try to heal a surface, if I just take the pencil, you, you know that if we heal a surface, I can just go from here to here, and that should heal this line, which it doesn't. So if I go over here and I heal this line, you can see that it does heal the surfaces. So what the problem is, is that this is just too many lines, and again, there's probably breaks in them. So what I do is I like to just go to a little intersection here and I was lucky that healed that so I can come over here I can come across here that's good that heals that that's very good come down to here that heals that this heals this come down to here and heal this now it's not gonna work here because if I zoom in you can see I've got gaps in the line here so this is not going to work when I try to heal it if I try to heal it absolutely nothing happens so what I have to do is I'm just going to recreate my arc so I'm just going to go from this midpoint here to midpoint here and then I'm just going to erase these lines and I'm just going to draw an arc to here arc to here and then of course I can erase this line and I should be able to go back at this point and erase these lines. So that this gives me one surface. Um, we don't have to do this. But I'm a little bit lazy, and if I do this, that just means that I only have to 
worry about pulling up one surface. <clears throat> so I'm just going to carry on through here and finish off my walls. I have a window here, so I'm just going to leave that there because that gives me a little bit of help for later on. Okay, so something here. Oh, I see I have a hole here. There we go. That's probably created from the construction from AutoCAD. I missed that. Just going to carry on through here. Now, I did that, and this time I got a surface here. So it's not a problem. I can just select this surface, delete it, or I can leave it whatever. Just going to erase these lines. Don't need them. Okay, now I'm not going to worry about the other parts here. Uh, we can look at those at another time. So now all I really need to do here is push pull this up 10 feet. Guess I forgot to uh, delete a few lines here. That's fine. And this pretty well sets up uh, my drawing. Everything is in pretty good shape. I'm not worried about the surfaces being different. Uh, when we add materials to this, it's going to clean it up. So we'll be quite okay with this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let you catch up to me. And in the next session, we'll look at putting doors, windows, and doing the ramp. And then possibly the stair. So thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy.